Hey guys, welcome back to another Unfiltered Gamer Kickstarter board game review. Today's game up on the tabletop is from First Fish Games and it's called Town Builder Kufredin. It is a two to four player game, it takes about 45 minutes to play the game, and it's ages 13 and up. In the game Town Builder, you're basically going to be trying to build a town. You're going to have a tableau in front of you that's going to involve a player reference card that's also doubled as a first player token, so you can kind of shuffle them up and decide who's first player. It'll give you a storage area, tell you your turn sequence, and of course, moving resources between foundations. It has everything you need to know on this card specifically. Uh, it's also going to include the different ways in which you can gain awards throughout the game, uh, uh, the additional stuff you can gain bonus points for, the most buildings of these specific types, and of course a large deck of cards here too you're going to be using for multiple different things. Each card is going to have a cost, it's going to have an effect, and it also will have the, um, uh, the resources that you can choose to use it for in order to create these buildings that you're going to need throughout the game. It is a simple tableau style builder game that involves a lot of vivid imagery as well as a style that I haven't seen before on the cards. So let's go and take a look. So here's the contents for Town Builder Kufredin and as you can see you're going to be getting this big Town Builder deck. These are going to be all these different cards here and there's an array of five that's going to be in this line here. The bottom of the card is going to be in reference to a resource that you're going to be able to use for it. The top right of the card is the cost in order to create it and then you're going to have the point score over here and also um, of course the different colors and different types of cards. You got culture and commerce and military and housing and even more than that. To set up the game, make sure you shuffle this deck up, place these five out here just like that. Take these uh, different guys here. You're going to go ahead and shuffle them up and you're going to put one face up right there. You're going to put one in the middle of this deck here and one at the bottom of this deck here. Set aside the rest of them for later potentially. Take these guys here. These are also more awards you can win. You're going to shuffle these guys up as well. Deal out two of them right here so people can see what they're trying to do throughout the game and also set these guys aside for later in case we use them as well. To begin the game you're going to then after the setup here you're going to take these things here and as you can see there's three of them that are basically um, non-first player and then a single first player one. Turn them over like this, shuffle them up and depending on the number of players is how many you're going to deal out. Of course if you have a two player game you make sure that you have one of the uh, one first player one non and if you have a three player one first player and two non so on and so forth you get it. So in a four player game you would deal them out just like this and everybody would flip them over to see who gets to go first first in the game. This player is the first player, so he'll go ahead and get to go first. Turn these over so that you can then see what you can do on your turn, and the game is then ready to begin. All right, let me tell you how it works. All right, so let's talk about the game. Now, first of all, you're going to be getting these cards here, which is great. It tells you exactly what you need to know. You can, you're going to first, before you start the game off, make sure that there's five uh, cards in a sequence from the top of the Town Builder deck. Then you get to take two actions as the first player. There's three actions you can take. You can start a foundation simply by taking any of these cards that doesn't have a gold value and placing it down in front of you as a building. Or if it has a gold cost, you need to pay for that gold cost, and then you can place the card down in front of you. Another thing you can do is gain a resource. Now, every single card not only has a resource cost, but also has the ability to give you a resource. Certain cards are going to require certain resources, so if you needed a building that required a hay, you would take this card and place it down on that building, which is then basically how you create that building. The last thing you can do is store a gold. Now certain cards are going to have gold next to the resource, and you can use that and put that in your storage area, which will be useful because when you're going to need to build a foundation, some of those cards are going to require gold. After you're done taking two of those actions, you're going to pass turn, and the next player is going to get to go, refilling the tableau once again. Uh, in continuing in that order. The game is going to end after the after the deck has been gone through one time. If you're playing with two players, then it's going to go through two times, three players, three times. And not only that, but after you finish the deck, based on whatever amount of players it's going to be, you're going to finish that round, uh, and then you're going to do one more really quick round, and then that's when you're going to score. You're going to add up all of your points, and whoever has the most is the winner basic, simple style game. Let me go ahead and show you how it plays and then what I think about it after that. So here we are with Town Builder and as you can see everything's set up for two players and right now of course you have the green builder out and two different awards. There's going to be one more builder in the middle and one builder at the bottom somewhere here as well as a set of the extra ones here that could be utilized later. You're also going to have these guys here set aside for in case you're going to actually have ties that happen. If a tie happens this one will give to somebody and this one will give to the other person who tied. Uh, to begin the game of course you choose one of the players here and remember 
you have a starting ability here, which you can use once per turn. Any, any of the star abilities you can only use once per turn. Uh, this one over here says you can use once when it's built, and then of course this is used for scoring. To start the game, you make sure this is refilled to five, flip over five cards on the top of this deck, and then take your two actions. There's three different types. You can start a foundation by placing one of these guys in front of you face, uh, face uh, on the side, or you can gain a resource by taking the resource side of these guys here, or storing a gold, but this is a gold here. So storing a gold would be like that, and of course gaining a resource would be of course attached to a building like that, or um, finally sounding a foundation. Remember, to start a foundation though that has a gold coin, you have to actually be able to spend a gold coin from your storage. So we'll start here with this inner molt. That's one action right there. And the next action, of course, is you're gonna probably want to get a resource, either a wood or a hay. We'll go ahead and take this festival one here and put it just like that. That will count as the resource that we need. Uh, we'll go with the, oh no, yeah, we'll go with the wood here. So that's his two actions. And then of course, the next player gets to go. You flip over two more of these guys here and they get to select one. Maybe they want this castle here. They're also then going to need a brick. So that's gonna be useful for them. And then back again to the next player. You're gonna simply continue doing that. Maybe he wants to store a gold here. So that way on his turn, he can also go ahead and take this in by spending this one gold coin. And that means he has now a new foundation. And then of course, flipping these guys over, the next player gets to go. Perhaps he wants to get another brick here and then he needs to get another piece of hay so he's almost done getting his castle there and then the next player gets to refill again and you're going to just continue like that it's pretty simple pretty standard as far as all this works he needs the uh, let's see here he's going to need a wood for this guy over here he's going to need a hay but there's no hay available so maybe he'll just take this gold for next time and then refilling once again uh, flipping oh this guy here he's now he's hoping oh he, he found a hay cool that's gonna give him his one when you have the resources required to build something here you're gonna remove the resources flip this over like that which signifies that it is now built and that will count towards your ending score up here on the top left hand corner as well as sometimes there's going to be abilities here like this one here is an ability at the end of the game if it is built you can score two points if the outer moat is in your district which is just in your tableau and this one over here is a, a star ability it says if you build a foundation this turn gain a hay from the discard pile so if you build a foundation you get a free hay from the discard pile provided there is one in there that can be pretty useful he'll take this guy here and put it to the side and that will end his turn and the next player is going to get to go and the game's going to continue like that players are going to eventually be building certain things throughout the game a halfway through the deck is going to reveal another builder that's going to signify that oh you can get two more points for having the red uh having the most red spaces out and then finally at the very end as well. Also don't forget about these awards here. This one says three buildings without abilities is going to gain you two points and whoever gets that first wins. If it's a tie somebody gets one of these as well. And the faster builder award wins. Four buildings or builds four first will get this one as well. You're going to add up all the points at the end of the game including all of your points from the awards and the builders and whoever has the most points is the winner. Don't forget to remember to check the activating your uh, during scoring abilities that will usually give you bonus points as well as checking every single point value in the top left hand corner of all of your cards. That's the basic idea of how to play the game Town Builder Covardian. And if you have any questions, well, go ahead and check on the Kickstarter in the description below. First Fish Games, when they first contacted me, they had a game called Get Off My Land, another very visual, vibrant game that looks great. Uh, and I've been so happy to see that it's everywhere because I really enjoy that game. It has a little bit of a take that -y nature. They actually went completely opposite this time. They've gone for something more of a tableau management game in which it's it's condensed and there's not a huge amount of stuff you can do on your turn. You got the five different cards you can pick, but you can pick them in three different ways. You can use them as their gold, you can use them as their resource, or you can use them as simply the building itself to which you're going to be building throughout the game. Now, every game is going to be very different because of the different awards you can choose uh, uh, that, that happen to pop up as well as you don't know which of the builders are going to pop up at the, uh, throughout the game. The middle of the game, so the beginning and even the end all have one, so you don't necessarily know how you're going to get those additional points. And the game's always very, very, very close, which is very nice. The game is relaxing and enjoyable. It has a little bit of a take that nature, but not in the same sense as take that, but in fact it has it as a... I just took the thing you wanted as a resource when you wanted it as a building. And that can happen throughout the, the game. I noticed myself clenching my teeth and biting my nails as somebody was right there with the card I needed and they were like, hmm, which one do I pick? Which one does Michael want the most? You like, and he takes the one I need and I'm like, ah, that's my resource. Luckily, however, they don't get to see the next card pop up. So that resource might still pop up again later. Uh, and that can happen as well. So if somebody tries to uh, 
to, to, to snag the card you need, that card you need could pop right back up on your turn. And then you go, ha ha, you just got rid of the card. You just got rid of the card I needed, but another one popped up. So that's great. But it might not at the same time. The buildings are fun. The abilities are fun. And nothing is very difficult about this game as far as to understand it. It has a, enough strategy to be enjoyable to play multiple times. I've taught it to friends. I've brought it to a party. And then, of course, I play this, tested it here with two, three, and four players. And it works just as well throughout all of the camp, all the all play tests. Uh, realistically, you can set it uh, to however you want as far as how many times you want to run through the deck. If you want to keep going, you can do that. If you want to stop early, you can do that, depending on how much time you have. But the game plays fairly quickly, and with more players, uh, it is increased the amount of time because of the fact that you're introducing another player. So I give an extra 20, 15, 20 minutes for each player into a game. And uh, yeah, the, the building something like this, the, the next foundation you build this turn costs one fewer wood. This is an ability you can use once per round. That's super, super good. All of them feel very, very useful to the game. And at first when I was like going through them, I'm like, oh, I don't need this as much as this. But then I realized all the different combinations of cards and how they kind of work together. There's certain things in here too, like um, there's a moat that you can build and you'll need the outside moat and the inside moat. And they'll actually give you bonus points as if you're able to, com to collect them all. But at the same time, people might notice that you're trying to do that so they might try and snag that as a resource and whatnot so it has that and they're involved as well there's a bunch of different colors as far as the different colors uh that are associated with you know commerce and uh the social there's a whole bunch of them right here but there's enough to where you're going to be able to choose between it all but it's condensed enough to i can teach you in five minutes how to play the game and we'll have a good 30 to 45 minutes of play experience this game is beautiful looking and i'm excited to see what it looks like when it's fully finished uh the prototype looks excellent though and uh, was really well done so uh i'm going to give this game my seal of approval because i really really enjoyed it i like the uh types of well, tableau management games that come like this, and I like this especially because of the ease of play and the relaxing enjoyability of it. If you're a player who does not like tableau management, if you are against any games that involve even a little bit of that, take that take that aspect where like I'm going to take the thing you need and I know you need it. Uh, this one might be one to steer clear, but even it's it's so light on that that I don't think it'd be that much of an issue. If you want something even lighter, this is probably not that. It's like right. It's 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 if there's light and mid and difficult, like completely you know crazy abstract. It's probably right in the middle of light and medium, right? You know, and I think that's where it's gonna sit uh, for a lot of families are gonna enjoy this game. If you like deep strategy as far as tableau management goes, it's it's not fully there as far as that because it's so simplistic in nature but that kind of what makes it that's kind of what makes it shine so personally i really like the game as i said definitely do check it out on kickstarter in the description below if you think town builder cool Vorden is something you'd be interested in all right guys thanks for watching another unfiltered gamer kickstarter board game review if you like this video go check out other stuff our videos here on youtube like subscribe and comment it does help we do greatly appreciate it as well as checking out our friends everythingboardgames.com and the giveaway geek and do check out boss battles as well uh, or, or battle bosses on kickstarter as well as don't forget the town builder this one if you like tableau management you're going to enjoy this game i i, I will be playing it more <laughs> all right guys that's all i got this time and as always i look forward to building a town with you next time